Welcome everybody. Welcome back to Homestead Heart. And y'all, I am going to talk to y'all today about something that is truly concerning me, right? I was in my kitchen yesterday. Uh, Mr. H, he went to Aldi's and came home. But I was in my kitchen getting ready to bake some bread. I'm going to get to that in just a second. And I had my oven, I had turned my oven on after my bread was just about done with this second rise. I turned my oven on so that I could get my bread in the oven and get it baked. <laughs> and I went outside, I was out there about 15 minutes y'all. And I came back inside and uh, waiting on the timer to go off on my uh, bread so I can get it in the oven. And I sat down waiting for that timer and all of a sudden y'all i just had like a my head just kind of started bothering me and i started smelling like like what is that you know and when i got up i stood up i smelled it even stronger the more i came back into the kitchen right so i said that's propane and i came on in here and came in the kitchen and sure enough, y'all, my oven had quit on me. Yeah, just just propane gas just spewing all into the house, you know, filled up the house from the front of the house all the way to the back of the house. When Mr. H came in, we had to sit outside. We couldn't even go, we couldn't even come back in here. We had to sit outside. What he did was though, <laughs> to save my bread, he let me use his, um, he has this Cuisinart oven that he was gifted, brand new, right? And I talked about that ugly thing so bad. <laughs> it just looks so industrial. And I talked about it so bad, y'all. He was like, I like my oven. I'm like, mm-hmm. You the only one that do. That's why, that's why you got it. <laughs> but anyway... I had to go to him and ask him if I could use that hideous oven that I had talked about for so long and I knew I would never hear the end of it. But in any case, I baked my bread and it turned out pretty good. But because, you know, it's just a little countertop stove, uh, countertop oven, you all, the little bars at the top, once my bread was baking, you know, that, that top bar kind of was touching the top of my bread and it left a little line across the top of my bread but that was fine it didn't burn it or anything like that but the bread turned out pretty good it was still just fine okay but my oven quit on me mind you that the extended warranty expired on it I want to say in June yeah this year June my beautiful Samsung stove. Y'all know I love this stove. But in any case, <clears throat> my oven quit. So we're figuring that out right now. But anyway, when Mr. H came in, he had these Aldi bags. And in the Aldi bag, you know, he had some organic bananas and um, uh, organic avocado. You know, we love avocados around here. <clears throat> but he also had this stuff right here he also had this and I was looking at it and I was like what is this and he said oh it's some uh, it's a chipotle aioli spread that I wanted to try I said okay and I picked it up and I'm, I started reading the ingredients on it you know me I'm gonna read the ingredients y'all look at the list of those and look at that when you see something like that, first of all, you can't even read it. You can't even make out what this stuff say. Which is why he probably didn't pay attention to the fact that it says contains bioengineered food ingredients, right? And so I told him, I said, it's got a lot of stuff in it, but you can't eat it either. He was like, I can't eat it. I'm like, no, you can't eat it. I said, look at it. You know, you can't eat it. And he said, man, you just can't buy nothing. And I said, well, it's looking like it. It's looking like we have arrived at that point 
where there is little to no food. Little to no food that will be good for us to buy out of the supermarket, right? You know how you used to hear people say, well, don't shop the interior of the store, you shop the exterior because the healthiest foods are around the outskirts of the market, right? Like in the fresh produce area and maybe closer to the uh, deli and freezer sections and all of that. Well, you know what, that's not the case anymore. Unfortunately, that's not the case anymore. It don't matter where you buy it. It don't matter if it's on the outskirts, on the inside, it don't matter no more. Because the things that you buy on the outskirts, <coughs> those things could be genetically modified, right? The organic section, people tend to buy from the organic section, but we all know about that. If we don't know, we should know. What does that even mean now? Do your own research on that. That's not what this video is about. But it doesn't matter where you buy it from now. It's intentional. This is intentional. You do understand that a lot of the foods or ingredients in certain foods are banned in other countries. Yet they shove it down our throats by trying to give it to us in the supermarket. The saddest part about this is that sometimes the best foods that maybe are truly organic does not contain any bioengineered food ingredient. They're very expensive, some of them, very expensive to buy. What about the person who can't afford that? The poor, specifically. The middle class, right? What about the poor and those who are middle class citizens? Because you know if you middle class in this economy, everybody's still struggling. So just about everything that we go to the store to look at now <clears throat> we're faced with this you can't even see bio it's just above the blue label you could probably hardly see it hardly read it because they make it so that you can't see it they got the nutrition facts in black you can see that can't you but what about all them ingredients under there you got the strain to see that and i got glasses on and i still can't make out a lot of what this stuff is saying on here I'm just curious, am I and maybe a big handful of other people, are we the only ones that's truly bothered by this? Or is it the masses of the people that's bothered by this? Because this is truly something to be bothered over. This is truly something to be bothered over. Meat grown in a lab now in restaurants for you to eat? Meat grown in a lab coming to a supermarket near you? Meat grown in a lab? Grasshopper powder used as fillers in some of your favorite sauces? This is very disturbing. Well, Mrs. H, what are we to do? Well, I'll tell you, in my little old humble opinion, number one, the best way to get your voice heard is to stop giving them your money Don't give it to them. A simple diet really is best. A simple diet is really best. I know every ingredient in everything that I eat. Well, I ain't gonna say everything that I eat. 
because sometimes I love some fettuccine Alfredo from uh, Olive Garden. That's my favorite food, fettuccine Alfredo, one of them. According to them, their ingredients for that are simple. But because I don't know that 100%, I can't say that. I don't know that to be 100% true. I just know what they say. But when I prepare something here, I pretty much know what it is. I know what it is because my ingredients primarily are fresh or something that I've canned, something that I've grown. I know. And if it's not something I've grown, like beans, you know, I try to get it from a trusted place. I try my best to get it from a trusted place <clears throat> through a staple goods program from uh, Azure Standard. I try to get these things from sources that are trusted to me. So that's what I try to do. But this is going back to the store. You know, when I was at the store a little while ago, <clears throat> I was talking to a lady. She just came up and started talking to me. I mean, she just was talking to me, just talking to me. And I was listening to her words and she started talking about all the things that, you know what, I just, I can't buy this anymore. I can't buy that anymore. You know, everything is just impossible to try to get something that you could eat where it's safe. I said, yeah. I say it's either genetically modified, bioengineered, has bioengineered food ingredients inside. You know, it's, it's very difficult to try to find. She said, yeah, you are right. I said, even the bread you got in your cart right now contains bioengineered ingredients. She said, what? I said, yeah. We were at Aldi. I said, yeah, read it. You know, the Aldi bread, they try to make it uh, very inexpensive and they do, you know, I think it's like a dollar and something for a loaf or something like that. I guess it used to be like 89 cents, but you know, over time the prices started going up. I don't know what it costs now, but I know at one time it was probably like the, the least expensive bread that you could buy at Aldi. But if you read the package, the read the back of that, the hamburger buns, hot dog buns, it's a particular brand contains bio, bioengineered food ingredients. I'm talking about bread. What go in bread? Flour, egg, oil, butter, sugar, yeast. That's primarily it, right? Why do I need a bioengineered food ingredient in bread? But just like this, something as simple to make as a um, aioli spread with peppers in it. Why does it need all of this? Preservatives. It's not preserving your health. It might be preserving this food, but it's not preserving your health. So why do we need that? Ingredients and foods banned in other countries. Why is it permitted here? Because it's by design. It's on purpose. They love it when you're sick. They love it when you got ailments. So they just keep throwing it at you. Withhold your dollars. When you see stuff like this, stop buying it. Stop buying it. It's so much I want to say. <laughs> it's so much I want to say. Stop buying it. Hold your funds. Hold on to your money. Well, what, what do we do then? I'm going to say it again. Find farmers in your area or near you you know sometimes people say all these i mean we we would buy from azure but it's like an hour drive 
Do you know by the time you get through driving all over the city, going to these different stores or whatnot for this, that, and the other, how much time have you spent driving? How much time have you spent going to these stores, shopping here, they don't have what you need, so you go to another one, you shop there, you're spending all, you're spending your time. How much time are you spending in the grocery store? But I know that when I place an order with Azure, I place that order online. God willing, all of my stuff is going to be in that one spot. I just drive, go pick it up, and I'm done. I leave. I ain't got to do no shopping around when I'm there. I ain't got to go from place to place to place to place. I get it right there. But so what if I have to drive a little extra to get something that is good for me that doesn't have bioengineered food ingredients or my food is not genetically modified? And if it's not organic, it might be sprayed with all kind of harmful pesticides, insecticides, all that stuff going into our bodies. What is it doing to us? You know what it's doing. If it's banned in other countries, why? What is that saying about folks who allow that to be sold to you and I here? What is that saying? We so patriotic, you know. We are so patriotic, we, we love our country, don't we? Meanwhile, the people in charge don't care nothing about you. Meanwhile, the people in charge eat the best of the best of the best foods and they give you the junk that's left over. They don't care nothing about you. All right. Just wondering, is this bothering the majority of the people or is it just a few people? Do the majority care about their health, their well-being, their little babies, their children, what they eat and what they put in their body? Hot Cheetos? See if you can go to Europe and get something with some red dyed number 40 in it or some yellow five. Go to Europe and see if you can get that. I think it's Europe. I think it is. See if you can get that stuff there. You can get it all day here, but see if you can get it there. Mm -hmm. All these things that are so harmful to us over the long run, and we wonder why we have all these health issues. We wonder why our children have all these issues. We wonder why, but there's very good reason because we eat anything and we feed them anything. We just pick up whatever. Cheetos, monosodium glutamate, right? We just eating a bag of chemicals. Yeah. So all of these things that we truly enjoy, I guess I would just encourage you to learn how to just start making some things at home from scratch. I would just encourage you to do that. Don't feel defeated because it's so much junk in the supermarket. Don't feel, don't feel defeated. I told you what to do, call your money. Let me stop before I break this because it's going bad. <laughs> so let me stop before I break it. Yeah. Don't feel defeated. Don't start with that. I remember when I put that Oreo video out, people seemed like they was fainting in the comment section. And I do mean passing out in the comment section. Oh no, we can't eat nothing. I can't eat my Oreos. 
I can't eat my Oreos. You should be ashamed of yourself for telling people this. Just taking away everything from us. No. Not taking nothing from you. The choice is yours. <laughs> That's one thing I always say to my children. The final decision is yours. See, when somebody give you a better option or when somebody gives you information, it's up to you what you do with it. I was always taught to hold a clean glass up to a dirty glass and then you make the choice. If I got a clean glass of water over a dirty glass of water, well, which one am I going to drink? Of course I'm going to take the clean glass of water. I ain't going to get mad at somebody for taking away my dirty glass of water. <laughs> no. So don't get upset. Don't get upset with me because I'm sharing this information with you. Choose a better option is all I'm saying. And yeah, it might take some time. It might take a little bit of research. It might take a little bit of effort and work on your part to even make these things from scratch if you got to. It just take too much time. Yeah. Well, how much time are we taking off of our life by eating that nonsense that they forcing down our throats? Look, I got time. When it comes to the health of myself and my family, I got time. And I'm going to make time. I'm going to make time. So, yeah, if I got to make my own tartar sauce, which I do, <laughs> my own mayo, my own ketchup, my own barbecue sauce, if I got to make my own to make sure I'm not eating that junk, that's what I do. I'm okay with that. I know I've said all these. I know some people don't want to drive to go and get the stuff. It's 45 minutes away from me. It's an hour away from me. Well, <laughs> well, how much time do we spend driving around anyway? Going from store to store. How much time are we spending shopping? In the store. How much time? <clears throat> yeah. That's just something to consider. The final decision is always yours. It's always mine. That's one thing I could tell you. Don't nobody make you do nothing. The final choice is always yours. But just choose wisely. No woulda, shoulda, couldas. Choose wisely right now. So there will be no shoulda, coulda, wouldas. I know it's tough, though. I know it's tough. I know. I know it's hard. You know, it's, it's very frustrating. It's very, very, very frustrating. I know it is. I know it is. I know it is. Yeah, because I have to deal with that too. You know, when the grandbabies come and all that kind of stuff and they want this, that, and the, uh-uh. No, nah, baby. We can't have, no, nope. sure can't. But I tell you what we can do. <laughs> tell you what we can do. We can do this ourselves. I'm gonna show you how to do it. And they don't like it at first. <clears throat> but then they be like, this tastes better than what I was getting at such and such a place. I like these. I'm going to be making these myself. Yeah. You can do it yourself. Mm-hmm. So, you all, I just want to know how y'all feeling about this. The biggest statement that we can make is to stop spending our money on these products. Go to trusted places. But stop spending money on these products. Because when you stop buying it, they're not going to keep making something you ain't buying. And then they have the nerve to put the writing invisible almost. So you can't even see it. It's crazy. 
it's crazy but i just wanted to know is it everybody feeling like this or is the majority of the people just okay with it or is it the majority is not even aware of it because i like to think that when you know better you do better i like to think that when you have knowledge of a thing you make some changes for your benefit just my opinion all right y'all that's gonna do it for this video was not my intention to hurt anybody's feelings so if i did I don't know what to say. <laughs> I really don't. I can't apologize for just telling you the truth of the matter on these ingredients. I can't apologize for that, you know. But one thing I will say is that do your own research. Make your own decisions. The final choice is yours. I just wanted to bring it to you. Put it on your mind. All right, y'all? So that's going to do it for this video. It troubles me. And it troubles me that so many of you may not even be aware. So I want to tell you. All right? So thank y'all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video. It's always best, if you can, to grow your groceries. <laughs>